Well, hi Pisces. Welcome to Universal Guidance Tarot. As you notice, I've changed things up a little. I got the Rider Weight Tarot deck out again. And as I shuffle, I'm just going to take I'm going to take about 6 cards. I'm going to clarify any cards that I have to. And we're going to do it that way. So if I have any questions on some cards, or I think you might. I'm going to clarify them. And there you are. There's Capricorn. That's not you. The Pisces. There we go. So, let's see what's going on here for you, Pisces. You've been carrying a heavy burden, but you're going to get ready to, to put down the burden with the Ten of Wands. Okay? Heavy burden. You know why? You've been in a spiritual lesson. You've been wondering what's been going on with you and around you and why you've been going through all these things that you've been having to go through. It's a spiritual lesson and what a burden they are. But you're coming to the end of it. I have the strength card next to the judgment card. This is the card for Leo. Leo could be strong in someone's chart around this reading. But um, this tells me there's the infinity symbol, so you, you will know what to do, and you will find the strength and the courage to do whatever that is. So this all comes from that spiritual lesson. Thank goodness you're getting it behind you. You had some toxic energy in your life, but you remember you're putting the wands down. It was a burden. This could have been a third party. Um, it could have been, you know, that you were associated with someone who is a, uh, associated with uh, a toxic energy of some sort. Uh, it could be anything, you know, from gambling to, to drinking, drugs, third parties. Um, it could be their personality that was toxic. So you're, that burden is going away, okay? Goodbye. See the devil waving goodbye? Goodbye to that toxic energy. So next to the devil is all this communication. This is part of your spiritual lesson. Communicate. You know, and I think that's what you do. Um, you're communicating with the toxic energy. I think you're finding the strength and the courage to, to say exactly um, how you've been feeling and to tell them exactly what you want. Um, you're following your intuition as far as what you are going to say and what you need to hear. But that's some part of your spiritual lesson, and that's why you're being able to put down this burden. You have been indecisive. I mean, you're thinking about your future. You're, there's ships bouncing around out there. Your ship might still be out there, and that's what you're thinking. You know, you're, you're having your doubts on whether they are your ship, okay? So this is under the strength card, and it takes some courage uh, to come out with this communication, but you are because you're you're like you're indecisive on whether to keep trying or keep um, or just move on. I, I need to clarify for one thing the strength card. Wow, I got three cards on the strength card. Let's see what we got. This was a reconnection. Okay, first I have the three of cups. This. Uh, this is a reconnection, this toxic energy that's come into your life. It started out really fun and carefree. Uh, but th with the Three of Cups, it's definitely somebody you've known before that's come back into your life. And then I have the Seven of Pentacles. And it's like you've been waiting for this relationship to become grounded. It's like, you know, you feel stuck. Like you're not going anywhere in this relationship. Um, you are moving away from it. You are picking up those swords of truth and clarity. It is a slow process, but um, I, I feel like you're moving away from the toxic energy. Maybe they're fixing things so things are better, but you are leaving this uh, waiting. This waiting can become toxic to you. And you are like moving forward to a much better place in your life, away from rocky waters. I want to take out a card on the devil. Okay, there we go. Oh my goodness. So there is a new life cycle here. I got the Wheel of Fortune. I think they're changing. I, I think that this communication that you're going to have with this toxic energy is enlightening. 
Um, they are entering a, um, a new life cycle here with the Wheel of Fortune for the better. You are entering a new life cycle for the better. It lands right on the Devil card, the toxic energy. I want to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. I want to know whether you're moving on your own or with them. I just need something else here. Well, you're going to free yourself is what you're going to do from this toxic energy. I have my, yeah, I need more clarification. Let's just take out on the side here. Oh. The Empress and the Hermit. So the Empress is Libra or Taurus. And then the Hermit can be Virgo. But um, seeking your path forward, that's what it's all about. Um, you know, you're very loving and kind and thoughtful, considerate, um, respectful. <laughs> you have so many good qualities. If, if you're a parent, you're an excellent parent. And I think you just know, you need to know how to move forward. Um, I feel like it's you that's entering a new life cycle. Um, but the devil is waving goodbye. They might be going with you. I really want to know for sure they are going with you. Okay. That's what I needed. I needed something to tell me if you're going on by yourself or if you're going on with this person who's been toxic in your life, you are going on with this person who has been toxic in your life. They're letting the toxic energy go. They may have had somebody associated with them that was holding this relationship back. But it looks to me like it, it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work and you're finally going to get your pentacles that you've been waiting for for such a long time. So, <laughs> this is awesome. Um, yeah, uh, your spiritual lesson is probably to communicate with them, to let them know how you're feeling um, in this relationship. And, uh, you know, it's not saying to give them an ultimatum. It's more, it's more saying to have some honest and truthful conversations and um, then you can figure out what it is that you want to do. Um, they do kind of need to be uh, bonked on the head to know that this is affecting you and whether or not you're going to move forward with them. Okay, let's take out an angel card. Let's see, this is a new angel deck. I need to change things up. I was going to, you know, I really like the Arcanum deck, but I really just need change. If I were to read my own cards, it probably would have told me that I would be changing my, my uh, readings around a bit. I think I can just get more answers this way. I don't know. Plus, they're, they're not as long. Here's your card. Let me get my glasses. Alrighty, Aquarius. Or Pisces, I'm sorry. It is Pisces. I'm so sorry. I can really be a space case. The Archangel Raphael. Oh my gosh, Pisces. I am helping you. I am helping you heal physical challenges in yourself and others. You are a healer like me. Okay, so that's what this toxic energy is. It has something to do with helping them heal from something. Okay, so um, that's what you're doing in all this conversation. You know this is something that you need to do in order to make up your mind how you want to move forward. Archangel Raphael. Oh, man. You're a healer. So, Pisces, this is your reading. Thank you for watching Universal Guidance Tarot. I want to thank my guardian angels and my spirit guides for helping me deliver you this message.